Namaste everyone. In the previous episode, I told you that collective activities are very helpful for the self-discipline because we cannot depend on our own will because our will however strong it might be, it, it gets weakened and weakened or it gets weakened uh, by various uh, aspects, various uh, things impact our will therefore it would not be strong always therefore instead of depending on our will for the self discipline if we start participating in a collective activity it would be better for example uh, going to some place where everybody is doing something for example surya namaskar i told you the example of surya namaskar right in a in an atmosphere where everybody is doing surya namaskar it is very easy to do 108 Surya Namaskar and it is very difficult to do the same Surya Namaskar in our room if we are alone. We need some motivation and that atmosphere gives it. So similarly, if a family is properly functioning, Bharatiya family is properly functioning, the family itself will make sure that everybody in the family follows their own discipline. To play their role in the family, they have to do certain things and that will anyway end up in a self-discipline aspect. For example, mother, as I told you earlier also, the mother gets up early and she wakes up everybody etc. And she, she does not have to think about her willpower, self-discipline etc. She just have to love everybody in the family and that her, her love drives her to do the activity that she does, is not it? Similarly, all of us in our family are bound by dharma to play our roles. So that dharma drives us in the discipline. Dharma means not religion I am talking about. Dharma is a, uh, is a reaction to what is being done to us, a proper synchronized and well thought reaction. So in this way our family is a small unit, right? Society is a larger unit. If that society is also functioning in, in uh, functioning properly in a Bharatiya way, I mean if uh, society is uh, doing all its festivals, uh, festivals, rituals and also social interactions etc., it will naturally bring the discipline in everybody's life. Let me tell you how it is. The purpose of education is liberation, yes, purpose of education is liberation and I have been saying this. But one of them, one of, one of the uh, other purpose of education or it is also part of the main purpose that Dhinacharya and Rutucharya, mastering the Dhinacharya and Rutucharya is the purpose of education and are also the purpose of education. What is Dhinacharya? Getting up before sunrise, taking bath and doing, doing our Surya Namaskar and feeding cow, do, uh, putting water to the Tulsi tree, like that there are so many rituals, right? So and uh, eating on time and uh, going to bed before uh, it is too late and so many other things, Dhinacharya. Dina, uh, in a day what, what are we going to do is called as Dhinacharya. Similarly, there is something called Rutucharya. In Vasanta Rutu, in what Rutu means season, Vasanta Rutu, what to be eat, what, what, what do we eat and what not do we eat, and what to be done, and uh, for harvesting, agricultural activities, festivals, uh, vratas, pujas, etc., all of them are designed according to the seasons, right? In the Vasanta, Hindu New Year starts in the Vasanta Rutu, Chaitra Shuddha Pratipada, Hindu New Year starts. What should we do on the Hindu New Year? There are certain rituals to be done. Those rituals will put you in a certain discipline which, which will create health, wealth, prosperity and everything to you, everything in your, li everything in your life. Uh, similarly, after few days, Rama Naomi comes on the Chaitra Shuddha Naomi. On Ram Naomi, what do you do? There, is, there are certain things to be done. Similarly, entire calendar has so many things to be done. Entire Hindu calendar has so many things to be done 
and also if you are into agriculture you will do certain things if you are into business you will do certain things if you are into some other profession you will do certain things so our entire life or entire calendar is designed according to the rutus seasons so the purpose of education is to establish ourselves into dinacharya and rutucharya if we are uh, if we are if we, if our schedule is proper if you are getting up early if you are doing, if you are doing everything the way it has to be done properly our health will be good our relations will be good and we will be more productive we will be, we will be efficient and so many other things come by the dinacharya similarly if you are following the rutucharya our social interactions will be good our uh, contribution to the society will be good the environment will be protected and so many other things will happen naturally so the dinacharya and rutucharya are the key aspects in our life therefore the purpose of education should be towards mastering the dinacharya and rutucharya and this dinacharya and rutucharya is nothing but discipline but it is not based on the self will the all the mo- the motivation industry self help industry uh, therapy etc everything talks about motivation will power and so many other things right but bharatiya way of self discipline lies in the dinacharya and rutucharya if you are following the dinacharya and rutucharya properly there is no need to motivate yourself specially with a lo- lot of hard work that's that's the uh, more sensible way of uh, establishing self discipline in one's life uh we'll talk about it later in the next episode also thank you